I'm always uh, having a keen eye for what's around me and, and pieces of wood that are dead and fallen from trees, branches, etc., and occasionally even capture a, a, a live uh, sapling and cut it down for a broom handle because it has uh, twisted honeysuckle vines around it. So I'm always in touch with my surroundings and, and with nature and, and I can actually find driftwood pretty much anywhere because there are always going to be forests and trees next to the river but I've been on the Edisto, I've, I've been on the Ashapu, I've been on uh, Cooper River, I've been obviously on the Saluda, Congaree, Broad Rivers, um, just any number of them, some mountain lakes up by Junaluska, et cetera, that uh, I can collect wood no matter where I am, and South Carolina certainly has all kinds of varieties of, of uh, pieces of wood. I guess it, if I were to define the, the natural world, I would have to say that it's absolutely everything in my environment, it, it is nature, and some of those things are really, really good, uh, like the quality of this river and the, the rocks that were, are surrounding us, all, all the way to some of the more trashy things that we as human beings have put out there. It is all part of nature, and I just think that we need to take better care of our environment so that we can continue to, to um, take advantage of nature, but also uh, we can give that to our children and to our grandchildren into the future. We have to preserve it and, and keep nature as a prime kind of concern that we have.